If you have a 2016 Ford Mustang with a Sync 3 system, you're probably disappointed that you don't have Apple CarPlay. But there is a solution for you that you can add Apple CarPlay to your Ford Mustang or any other Ford that's a 2016 with the Sync 3 system. Today I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing you need to do is get your hands on a part that looks just like this. This part comes in two different models. One is a single USB port. The other one is a double. I'm going to put a link in the description if you want to order one of these. The single runs around $45. The double runs around $65. Now these are genuine Ford parts that you can order right off of Amazon, but I'll also put the part number in the description in case you'd rather go to the dealership to get your part. I can almost guarantee that it's probably going to cost you about a $20 premium to get the part at your Ford dealership. The choice is yours. Now what this part does is it allows your phone to communicate with the 2016 Ford Sync 3 system, in my particular case, the Ford Mustang. And a simple software update is gonna do all the rest. You can do the software update through a USB stick or through Wi-Fi, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So let's jump into the car. Now, if you decide to perform this on your own car, it's really not difficult, but I highly recommend that you use a plastic trim tool like this pry bar here instead of a screwdriver or something like that. This is a much softer material that's not likely to scratch the interior of your car in any way. So you won't get any damage prying this thing out. On the 2016 Ford Mustang, the USB that you're looking for is located in the center console under the armrest. Pop that open. You'll see that both the accessory port and the USB port are located on a separate panel. Just pry this panel up using your pry bar. Once you have this panel off, you're going to notice the USB piece has three separate clips that you have to unhook. There are little tabbies on these clips that you can just push in and you snap each one off one at a time. Once you find the little push pins, these are pretty easy to take off. And you can perform the same process on the accessory port. Now you have this little panel totally separated and you can pop out the USB piece. The easiest way to do this is to use a regular screwdriver and you're going to notice pins on each end that stick out. You just use your screwdriver to press these pins in and push up on the USB and you'll pop out each side one at a time. Once you have it separated from the panel, you'll notice that the opening is shaped in such a way that your USB port is only going to fit in there one way. So take your new USB port that's going to activate your Apple CarPlay and pop it in there. Then flip it back around and put all your jacks back in, starting with your accessory jack and then the three that are located on the back of the USB piece. Then all that's left to do is just pop this access panel back into the armrest panel. As you can see, this whole process took maybe 10 minutes. It's pretty simple stuff. For the next step, you're going to have to update your Ford Sync 3 software. To do this, you're going to go to owner.ford.com. If you don't have an account here, you want to register now. And all you really need is your vehicle identification number and a phone number. Once you're in, you want to click on support and go to Sync Software Updates. Here you want to select the operating system that you use on your computer and then just follow the instructions to download the file. Now keep in mind that the file that you download directly is going to be a zip file. You're going to have to unzip that file and then move the files that are unzipped onto the USB drive. You can't just copy the zip file onto the USB. When you get to your vehicle, you want to be sure there is nothing plugged into any of the USB ports. And the car should be set to on, not accessory. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and put your USB drive into one of the USB ports. Once you plug that USB in, the system will automatically recognize it and begin updating your system automatically. This may take 10 to 15 minutes to complete and once it's done, you will get an installation complete message on your screen telling you that it was successful. At this point, you can remove the USB from your system. If you would rather get your update through Wi-Fi, it's pretty simple. This is what I did. All you have to do is turn on your Wi-Fi first. You do this by going to Settings, then scroll to the right and select Wi-Fi. Then you're going to want to turn your Wi-Fi on, and then View Available Networks. Select your network, click Connect, and then go ahead and put in your wireless network password and click Done. 
Next, back on the main menu, you click Settings again and go to General. Scroll down until you see Automatic System Updates, and then set Automatic System Updates to On. You're going to get a prompt about turning on Automatic System Updates and blah, 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 blah. Click Yes, then Close. And then the first thing your system will do is look for updates. You can see it'll give you a prompt when it's downloading new system updates. It will also prompt you when the system is updated. You can click the little down arrow to see more about what was updated once it's complete. If you happen to be on Wi-Fi and it's downloading an update and somehow you end up disconnecting from Wi-Fi or moving off, it'll hold that in there and next time you connect to Wi-Fi it will continue that download until it's complete and then update the system. This particular method is kind of hit and miss and it could take some time to actually get it to do the update. Once you've updated the system with either of these methods, you can use Apple CarPlay as if it was actually installed from the factory. You won't know the difference between a 2016 and a 2017, 2018, 2019. All the Sync 3 systems are the same once you put this update in there. And Apple CarPlay is actually a really cool thing to have. I totally enjoy it. That's it. It's really that simple. You just use a regular USB cable for your iPhone, plug it in, and you're going to have Apple CarPlay right on your Sync 3 system in your 2016 Ford. It's freaking awesome. If you want to see the car that destroyed the Mustang brand, check this video out right here. For the love of cars, the name of the channel, and if you're an automotive enthusiast, you should definitely subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.